Hi, Todd Vandenberg here with Vandenberg Capital Management and another Uncommon Sense update. So it's uh, Wednesday, it's the middle of July, and uh, the Dow is now closing at about 26,870, which is a, a really good number. We're pretty happy with that. We've had a good run here in the last few days, um, primarily over optimism uh, of, of a, a vaccine potentially coming out later this year. Uh, you know, this is all sort of, you know, preliminary. We don't know if it's going to actually happen, but the markets tend to, when it hears, you know, good noise, or sorry, good news, um, that it tends to react early. And, and that appears to be what we're seeing right now is just some optimism over, you know, what could be happening later in the year. So uh, in general, as I'm looking at, at the data to try to figure out, you know, is the market fairly priced? Is it overpriced? Is it underpriced? I've got to look at um, this stuff I talked about several weeks ago called the high frequency data. And I want to talk about a few of these items uh, today. So let's start with initial jobless claims. When you look at the data, you see that over the last month, initial jobless claims have fallen by about 16%. And that's a really good indication that people are starting to you know, get back to work. When you look at continuous jobless claims, the total number of people that are currently on unemployment, that number has also fallen over the last month, um, you know, 12%-ish. So that's, that's, again, a pretty good number. But we don't really expect to see any significant, I mean, really significant changes in the employment uh, situation un until maybe next month, because as long as the government's paying unemployed people an extra $600 a week while they're on unemployment, there are some who are you know, making the conscious choice of, well, I'm, I might be making more money if I'm on unemployment, so I'm going to stay there until that money is actually less than I would get if I were working. I don't fault anybody for making that decision. Um, you know, it, These are difficult times, and if you can sock a few extra pennies away for the next rainy day, which who knows, could just be a couple of months from now, uh, that's probably not a bad call. So we just need to understand that this extra money that the federal government is kicking into unemployment is potentially holding back um, the improvement in our, in our job numbers. So I also want to talk a little bit about something, some forward-looking indicators that lead me to believe that, you know, as things start to pick up, which again, the high-frequency data is showing us that things are starting to pick up. Uh, there's some indications um, that we look at, uh, like builders' permits, you know, um, uh, home builders that are getting permits to build homes at some point in the future. Now, that number had just collapsed uh, as the pandemic and the coronavirus started to take hold. But what we're starting to see now is sort of an uptick in, in building permit requests. And that's a pretty good sign because, you know, if a builder is going to sort of try to plan their business based upon these building permits, that means that we could see employment continue to increase because builders are, are building more, more homes. Uh, their expectation is that if they build them, they'll have somebody to sell them to. And with interest rates at historic lows, I mean, insanely low numbers, you know, it's sort of the perfect storm for either first time home buyers, people wanting to buy rental properties. Um, I mean, it is sort of the perfect storm if you have some pennies set aside to be, you know, taking advantage of these low interest rates. So not a lot of, uh, you know, craziness to report today. But I did want to sort of cover that we are following this high frequency data pretty closely, and it is trending in a direction that leads us to believe that, you know, whenever we're allowed to open back up again, that things will start to improve. Oh, before I end, you know, um, just as just anecdotally, I talked to somebody who monitors uh, or knows about the monitoring tra of traffic here on our local highway, Highway 101. Um, and there's a corridor up here. It's a typically a commuter's corridor. And traffic has, has returned on that corridor uh, to about 80% of normal. So in spite of shutdowns, in spite of, you know, all the things that are, you know, you would think would keep people off the roads, you know, we, we have a little civil disobedience going on here with people getting in their cars and driving which, you know, if you're in your car and you're driving, that means you're buying gas, you're probably going somewhere, you might be spending money. These are all things 
that are good signs that, you know, once we get through this pandemic, that the economy will be poised for a nice recovery. So if anybody has any questions about this or anything else regarding their financial affairs, investments, retirement, anything like that, feel free to reach out, you know, just post a message uh, to this video, send me an email, give me a call. I'm here five days a week, 6.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Well, that was your update. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a like, give us a share, and I'll be back again soon with another Uncommon Sense update. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to be the first to hear of more Uncommon Sense updates like these, please click the subscribe button below. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.